What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today I'm going to be showing you how I connect multiple MIDI controllers to my MacBook Pro uh, just the way that I do it. I'm going to show you three different ways that you can do three different softwares that you can use uh, to use because some of us and a lot of us use our MacBooks live in performance. And you may be saying to yourself, I want to connect multiple keyboards uh, to my Mac and be able to play different sounds on each one of them. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it. Now, first, we'll start with the connections, uh, how I have everything connected. Uh, I have the Apple, because I'm using a MacBook here. Uh, so some of this is going to refer to only Mac users. If you use PC, uh, there are a couple of other softwares I'm going to show you that you can use uh, to, to kind of do this quickly, uh, easily, and efficiently. So uh, I'm, since I'm using a MacBook and the new MacBook Pro, uh, I have the official Apple USB-C to USB adapter that I'm using here. Uh, and I always recommend that you get the Apple one. I'm telling you, I, over the years, I've been doing using software instruments for over a decade, almost a decade or so. Um, and the biggest headache I've had is trying to make non-Apple adapters work. So if you have the new, uh, you the new MacBook with USB-C only, get the official adapter. It's gonna bless you. All right. So uh, I also have a little generic. Um, you know, USB hub here that I'm just using to connect everything. Uh, nothing special, just something I got picked up from Best Buy. I'll throw the link for both of these in the description so you can check those out. Again, they're plugged up. All these are plugged up to my MacBook and powered by my MacBook. So uh, really, really, really simple setup. Just plug them up and go. If you have uh, the, the uh, traditional USB ports, you're not even going to need that. You may not even need the hub if you got a MacBook that's got two or three, you're just trying to do two keyboards, you got two or three, you know, USB ports on your computer, using the hub is not going to be, um, not going to be uh, optional to you. It's going to be optional to you. So let's dig into the, the, the software aspect of everything and how it's done. So uh, first software I'm using here is Mainstage 3, which is one of my favorite softwares. Uh, I've done tons of videos on them over the years. Um, so, you know, I just did a really quick layout in layout mode, did a really quick layout through three keyboards up here for these three that I have. Uh, I'm not going to really use the MIDI mix. I may talk about it later, but I'm not going to really use it. So we're just going to work with just these three keyboards. Um, it's very simple. You got to go into layout mode because uh, right now all of them, if you can see those keys are jumping, they're all jumping no matter what keyboard I'm pressing. So what we want to do is assign these to individual keyboards because right now they're set to MIDI port all. So if I want to assign this keyboard, say, to the uh, impact, I would just hit assign, press a note, boom, right? Then I go here to my uh, key station, hit assign, boom. Now that's assigned to that keyboard. Then if I want this one to be the uh key station over here uh I, all assign is already clicked just hit that boom now they're all individually assigned you can see that one maybe how difficult to see that jumping but that's jumping for that top key for the top keyboard here um this one is jumping you can see for the middle keyboard uh and then this one is jumping for that keyboard so uh, now that I've got those keyboards assigned, it's just as simple as going over here in main stage in the edit mode uh, and then assigning sound. So um, let's see. Okay, so a couple of these sounds are already assigned, but what we're going to do is I'm going to delete these two channels and we're going to start from scratch. So no sounds on any of the keyboards. I'm going to hit a plus instrument. And this is going to be, you can choose your MIDI import right here. So this will be a sound for that keyboard. So I'll go here and we're just going to add something random. I'm not even going to try to, you know, set up whatever. We'll just add alchemy in here, whatever the first sound is. So now I've got that assigned on this keyboard. That sound is assigned on that keyboard. Hit a plus and then go here to the complete control. Hit create. And maybe we just want a EP sound or whatever. So we'll go vintage electric piano. Uh, that loads up. And we can close that. So we got this sound here. 
that sound there. Uh, and then we want to assign the third keyboard. Go here, uh, MIDI, Impact, Create. Uh, and then we're going to go and just grab, I don't know, Retro Synth. There's something simple, whatever. And now that's on there. And just that quickly, I've assigned three different sounds to three different keyboards. I can control the individual volumes on them. This is why in, in main stage, like again, I have a ton of tutorials on main stage. You can check those out on the channel. Um, so I won't go deep into main stage and all of its flexibilities. If you don't know about it, just check the playlist that's linked up in the cards or down in the description. Uh, and it'll show you like how uh, all of the different things you can do with main stage. It's a million and one ways that you can set things up. It's just it's just the most flexible in terms of, if you have a MacBook. It's the, the most flexible program in terms of controlling and hosting your uh, virtual instruments and assigning multiple keyboards. Now, I'm going to close main stage. Um, let's see. Well, what we'll do is we'll just make it simple so I don't close. We'll just cut these off. So now these aren't making any noise. Now, the second software that I'm going to show you is one of my next favorite softwares, uh, especially now since it is standalone, uh, and that is uh, Omnisphere. Uh, and I also have Keyscape or whatever, you know, because I can load in Keyscape, um, you know, on a channel or what have you, um, you know, inside of Omnisphere. So I think it's really, really cool um, that they made it standalone. So it makes it almost like if you have Omnisphere and you have Keyscape, uh, it just you can set up your own kind of, um, you know, um, set up with multiple keyboards and your own little live setup it's no it's more it goes beyond just production uh in my opinion now this is a full-fledged kind of program so um to do this with uh, with with omnisphere and then the other program i'm going to show you in a second uh you're gonna have to do um multiple midi channels by default if you go to multi-mode each one of these sections, which is can be loaded up as different sounds and volumes can, can be can be controlled. Uh, all of these are uh, set on different MIDI channels, as you can see, channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, so on and so forth. They're all set on different channels. So what you have to do with your keyboards is actually set them on different MIDI channels in order to make this situation work. So uh, I have set, and this is going to vary from keyboard to keyboard, how you change your MIDI channel. I have set this keyboard over here on MIDI channel two. I have set this keyboard over here on MIDI channel three, and then this is default set on MIDI channel one. I didn't touch this one. All right. So that's how I got them set up. So now all I have to do that I've done that pre-work is go to settings and then cut on my keyboard. So I'll cut on the complete control. I'll cut on the key station and then I'll turn on check mark uh, the LX. Now I should have multiple sounds on different keyboards. So here is my piano over here. Well, let's see. That's the classic Moog lead right here. That's what that is. And then this one is just set on default on three, which is nothing. So I could go here to three, and now I can just add any random sound. I'll just go to here and just pads and strings, and we'll just add, I don't know, blue line bed. So now that's set to a to a different keyboard this uh to a different sound this is on the sound and that's on the sound so now all three of these keyboards have are running different sounds inside of omnisphere i can go into multi-mode i can change um you know um i can change the volumes the pan um effects they even have a live mode where i can switch sounds uh and then they have what they call stack mode which is really really dope uh, you can actually zone your sounds on different areas of the keyboard. So that's pretty cool. I have a full tutorial how I use Omnisphere Live, um, and I'll link that, the cards, and down in the description as well for you to check out if you're just interested in a full tutorial on how to use this. All right, so let's cut these keyboards off, uh, and then I'm going to show you the third software, which is going to be similar to this because a lot of people use this, and that is my friend's contact uh, a lot of you use contact I've seen a ton of people 
uh, on you know online, social media, different places, and they talked about how they use contact live. Uh, I've seen a lot of church musicians, especially gospel musicians, like yo, I just use contact. Uh, I just want to use, or they've hit me up and say, hey, bro, I just want to use contact, but I want to use it for multiple keyboards. They don't want to use the AU host. They don't want to load up contact in main stage. They don't want to load up contact in um, um, inside of like Logic or anything. They just want to, they just open up contact itself and play sounds from it. So this is how you can set up multiple keyboards using contact only. And it's the exact same way that I did with Omnisphere. You're just going to um, set everything on a different MIDI channel. Set each one of your keyboards, because you have 16 MIDI channels, so you can use up to 16 parts. So set each one of your sounds, or each one of your keyboards on different MIDI channels. Uh, again, like I showed in the first example, one, two, and three are my sounds. Then right here inside of, once you load up your sounds, I just loaded up some random stuff that I had here. Um, once you've loaded them up, you can actually um, set up your ports. You can set up for, you know, the MIDI channel, one, two, and three, four, all the way down to 16. So I just set this one on one, this one on two, this one on three. I think you've got the concept by now. So we'll go here to preferences. We'll go to uh, MIDI and we'll turn these keyboards on and I'll just show you the proof of concept. So we'll turn this on port A, port A, whatever, port A, port A and then the LX, port A and port A and that should get me done there. So now have analog on that. I have Profi over here and then down here I have strings so that is three simple ways and quick ways that you can get set up with uh, using multiple keyboards live whether you're using a PC you can use contact you can use Omnisphere if you have a Mac I honestly suggest you use something like main stage if you're com more comfortable with contact then just use contact. There's no like definites. These are just ways you can do it. And you can translate this to any program you want. If you wanted to just do everything in Logic, set everything up on three different MIDI channels and put different sounds on different MIDI channels and keep rolling. If you want to do it in Reason, if you want to do it in whatever software, that's kind of the concept that I've used over the years uh, if I'm not using Mainstage. Mainstage makes it simple. You don't have to worry about MIDI channels and all of that stuff like that. Uh, just kind of simplifies the flow for you. But if you're working with any other software, just put everything on different MIDI channels because you have 16 channels on all all of your boards. Use your Utilize your different MIDI channels. All right, folks, hope that helped you. Hope that blessed you. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, uh, turn on notifications, do all those things like that that we do on the videos uh, when you're watching them. Uh, check out other content that I have on this channel. I appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to share uh, some knowledge and some information with you. All right, y'all be easy. I'm out. Holla at your boy.